Good evening. I'm broadcasting live from Lynn Valley in North Vancouver today and we're celebrating the royal wedding and this dessert I am making for you is so luxurious and rich it's definitely fit for the future king and his lovely bride. I'm so sad to report that my um, monogrammed invitation to the wedding has been delayed. So here we are and my sisters, my girlfriends, my daughters, my nieces are all here celebrating. We've donned our tiaras and our hats and our jewels just to celebrate this occasion. But the dessert that I've created is called Triple Cream Strawberry Shortcake Goes Royal. It's perfect for tonight. Featuring three of the cream cheeses from Philadelphia. The brick cream cheese, the original, the whipped cream cheese, and the lovely strawberry cream cheese, the spreadable. Perfect for tonight. So let's get started. I've got my scones ready to go and in this bowl I have my flour, two cups, two tablespoons of sugar, half a teaspoon of soda, one tablespoon of baking powder, and a pinch of salt. You mix it up with a pastry blender till it's considered new pebble size. Now I'm going to add my one cup of vanilla yogurt which is perfect for this dish. If you don't have vanilla yogurt, don't worry about it. Just add vanilla to the plain yogurt. That will work. There we go. Mix this in. Now, this is going to get a little mucky, but don't worry. I have a time-saving tip for you after. And we're going to mix all this into a kind of a ball and put it on the board and cut it out. It's going to be fabulous. Now, here's where we get a little mucky. Oops, oops, oops. But before I do that, I have to take off the jewels. Not the crown jewels, definitely not the crown jewels, but my jewels, so I'll take them off because it's going to get a little mucky now. Here we go. So mix your scone batter in, and don't worry about getting your hands all dirty. I've got a tip for you after. We're going to mix it all in as much as we can. If there's a little bit of dry on the bottom of the bowl, don't worry about it. We'll just mix it in, but try not to overmix. We want the scones light and fluffy. So there we go. Put this onto the, bo the board. Now, after we've cut them, I'll show you this tip. I'll just put this aside. Form this into a ball. And here we go. Time saving tip. Rather than going to the sink and adding water and getting all your sink mucky and all the muck going down the drain, just put flour on the dough hands and all your dough just slides off. Of course you've washed your hands before this. I've washed my hands many times before this recipe, of course. And now you can carry on with your hands. A little bit of flour onto the top. Roll the, the scone dough out. You want it about an inch an inch high, an inch thick, so that they're nice and high for your strawberry shortcakes. Now with your cookie cutter, um, cookie cutter, there we go, put your cookie cutter in the flour, and you're going to cut out eight rounds. Here we go, here's my baking sheet. Eight exactly the same shape rounds. This will go into the oven at 375 for about 10 to 12 minutes come out nice and thick and luxurious and light and fluffy and that's exactly what we want for a scone. Keep um, reforming it to, so that you can get your exact eight. So that's seven and this last one of mine is eight. So it's going to be perfect. There we go. Into the oven it goes. Very nice. You don't have to egg wash or anything, just put it into the oven. Here we go. Perfect. Now I'm going to change boards. Give me a second. All right. Clean up a little bit. Get this out of the way. Here we go. Now we're going to start with our with our strawberry topping. I have here half a cup of strawberry sliced strawberries in syrup with three cups of fresh strawberries. Now I like the syrup because it's great to have that liquidy strawberry beautiful flavor over your strawberry shortcakes. My plate is ready to go. 
And here's my plate ready to go. I'm going to start with a scone. Now my, I've made this batch just a few minutes ago. They're still nice and hot. Take your scone and just cut your scone in half. Ooh, that's lovely. You're going to work on the bottom half of the scone. First of all, we're going to call this the, the Duchess layer. A little bit of the strawberry spread of the cream cheese goes right on the bottom. About a tablespoon. Beautiful. Gives it a nice texture. Everything sticks to the, to the scone and the cream cheese. Now, I'm going to add a little brick of ice cream. And I've already pre-cut them and it's so easy when you have guests coming to view the royal wedding. Look at this. All ready to go. Ice cream right on top of the Duchess layer. It's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Then we're going to add a layer of your beautiful strawberries. Oh, no, no, we're not. This topping I have to talk about first. This topping is amazing. What I've done here is I've added one cup of whipped cream, one, top, one cup of Cool Whip, and now I'm going to add one third of a cup of the whipped whipped original cream cheese. You mix that in, it mixes up so luxurious and lovely. Now, on top of the ice cream goes your whipped topping. Perfect. See how quick that was? And that's exactly how easy it is. So first your whipped topping, a nice generous portion. Now, now your strawberries. Here we go. And you want some of the syrup because you want the color. And you want it just to, oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now a little bit more of your topping on top and garnish with a strawberry that you sliced very thin so you can fan it open. That goes on top. Put over the top of your scone to finish it off. And at the very end, dust it lightly with icing sugar. Just a very light dusting. Beautiful. And there we have it. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Triple cream strawberry shortcake goes royal. Fit for a king and queen. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Ta-ta for now. Time for tea and shortcake.